I'm in a proper French bakery trying to find a quick croissant for my auntie. All this shit look good. I want all, I want one of each. Only in the French train station would they be selling handbags and they even have a bakery, but I already passed that. But but yeah, I'm almost I'm almost saying I'm almost able to say I successfully survived. Oh, there's a hat shop <laughs> in the train station, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. It's safe to say that I have almost survived my first French train ride. I can't say just yet because I haven't made it outside. Oh, here's outside. <laughs> So this is what I see as soon as I get off. Oh my goodness, look at those little bowed babies at the top. This is what you see. When you get off the train, here in front. I am going to the Galleries Lafayette, if I can find it. <laughs> but yeah, we're vibing. This is near the Opera House. I'm a whole Frenchie out here, y'all. Bonjour, wee oui, wee, oui. all that good stuff. It's a little chilly, but not so bad. It's really sunny. So like a lot of things in Paris, this area is quite ritzy. You have the Intercontinental, Paris Le Grand. You have Balmain. Oh, this is just Balmain hair. Okay, that's how you feel. <laughs> you have Mont Blanc. Across the street, there was a United Colors of Benetton. Ooh, y'all, I see a Chinese restaurant. I've been wanting some really good Chinese food, too. So, I don't know. I'm so overly stimulated. I just want to do everything. <laughs> ah, what a joy. So this is my tourist vibe for today. A6. You got to have your tote bag. And just trying to be comfy, girl. So, to tell the, st the street names typically in Paris are on the side of the building. And at the top, that number indicates what neighborhood you're in. So right now I'm in the ninth arrondissement. Arrondissement is neighborhood. <laughs> and um, Rue Scribe is the street and I'm headed to the Galleries Lafayette, which you guys can see there. So let's go, let's see what it's giving. Very bustling city, y'all, very much very much everything everybody says about this place. Bonjour, mes amis. So, you guys, there, I don't know how, which one is the main entrance, but we're going to find out. When I tell you that people are dressed to the nines, dressed to the nines honey something tells me i'm about to have a sensory overload which is essentially what i've been having since i touched down in this country baby so we have Dior, chanel's on the first floor oh this is where i need to go first stop lv let's see what it's given and of course there is always a queue for this particular <laughs> this particular brand but it's nowhere near as bad as freaking Champs de Lise store excuse my French but I'm in France <laughs> yeah no I'm silly so I just noticed that this I guess display or whatever you want to call this um uh what are we calling this uh installation this is all made up of their perfume containers the entire wall it's giving classy
Apple and some chocolate soda, you guys. I would love that piece. Uh, I think I'm gonna get it. Well, actually, let me not even say that. I don't know what I'm gonna get when I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I was about to say, I think my next piece of fine jewelry is gonna be Chopar, but child, who knows? There's my gang. I've been loving Jill Sonder more and more lately. My auntie always says that she's been that girl. Of course, I have, ooh, this tea is a very, very thick. Very, very thick. I have that big tote bag that I'm obsessed with. Where's the prize, girl? What is the prize? Nice little Prada boutique. Inside of the galleries, she is screaming. Holiday. These are cute. Little wallet on a chain bag. Super cute, actually. And I will always and forever hate Paradox. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> you can. I wasn't supposed to have to wait in that queue, you guys. They sent me upstairs to the first floor because there is no wait for perfume. So hopefully I can get what I want because it has been sold out. And hopefully it heats the info with my initials. Wish me luck. I literally stood in that line for like 20 minutes and the line before that I stood in that line for about 20 minutes not knowing that if I were to come over here there was no line so yeah they have this little booth where they only sell fragrance so times in Paris Y'all, if I can get my hands on this here trunk, <laughs> I would be very, very happy. Oh, this is 15 euro, 15,000 euro, excuse me, moi. <laughs> that is so sickening. But you know what's even more sickening? This view, I've seen this on freaking TikTok, on YouTube a million times, but nothing does it justice like this is nuts, y'all. Like, this is their mall. And mind you, this in this building, this is only for women. There's another building across the street that are for men. So all of this goodness is dedicated to the girls, honey. Dedicated to the girls all over the world. <laughs> Like I said, sensory overload. Yeah. You got the Maison Francis Carjan. Oh my goodness, is it 724? It smells really good. I'm not interested in any perfumes. I pretty much have all the perfumes from them that I need, but. Yeah, let's see if we can locate Fendi. Too bad Balenciaga is still, eh. With the current creative director, too bad it's still a no, no for me personally. However, this is a really good quality shirt. I actually like some of these pieces. And I've been liking this. And that is actually... Oh, and it comes with a pair of jeans. Super cute. And I have Saint they have this new bag and I'm still trying to understand why they made this in suede. Oh, it's kind of like leather. I thought it was suede. I like it though. I'm looking for Fendi. They have Giacomoose. Of course, Loewe. Bestie was like, you gotta go to Loewe. I'm like, girl. 
there's nothing I want in Loewe. Super small boutique. We have Margiela. <laughs> Ever since the tabbies went viral, I've been low-key wanting me a pair of tabbies. <laughs> and look what I just came across. The tabby, Mar the tabby Mary Janes that created all this recent hoopla in America anyway. I wonder why they don't have pricing on there. Oh, these I can buy with. The tabbies aren't for everybody, but I like them. I really like them, depending on what it is. Not all the tabbies, but I like that tabby boot. I kind of like this Marty bag, even though I am not a yellow girl, but that's kind of cute. Marty been kind of coming with the pieces as of late. Have the Mewy Mewy. Mew Mew. I can't believe I just said Mewy Mewy. I know better than that. Celine. And I actually really like that handbag a lot, but I'm not necessarily a Celine girl, so. Or at least that wasn't on my list of things to purchase in Paris. Shivanchi. The girls are dressed up. Do you hear me? Byredo. Should I buy me a Byredo candle? I think so. I think so. I found the good people over at Fendi. Still love these pajamas. I mean, it's not really pajamas, but gotta love it. Embossed baguette. Sitting here chilling in Fendi, enjoying a Coca-Cola. Oh, this says Paris 2024. So I'm waiting to see a pair of earrings that I've been dying to see while waiting in Fendi. Everywhere I go, I'm like, do you have champagne? <laughs> Up close and personal, she's sickening. <laughs> She is one of the items I purchased instead of the paperwork being done. It's really, I'll just go ahead and tell y'all, it's what I've got at Fendi. They don't do the paperwork for you. You have to go to this tax office inside of the galleries. So, this is interesting. <laughs> Paris Hall, soon come. I'm trying to make it to the top of the gallery. Since I'm here at the galleries, I want to go to the top so I can see like the city. I think they said on the roof you can like see the whole city of Paris. So we're gonna try to see that. Let's go. So on the top floor of the galleries, they have essentially like home stuff and all kind of fun looking stuff actually. Let me see if I can grab a couple of souvenirs. I'm headed up to the terrace at the Galleries Lafayette, but I love this wall right here, so I had to get a quick little capture. So this is the roof at the Galleries Lafayette. This is the entrance or exit. This is the dome that you see. These are... That's exactly how I feel, girl. Um, but you can actually have like, oh my God, you guys, look at this. It's prettier than what I'm showing you. You can see the Eiffel. There is a Paris Jatam sign, which you can't see because the girls are. Oh my goodness, let's see. What is it giving girls and guys? So essentially, when you come out here, you can overlook the entire city of Paris. And the sun is amazing. With the vibes. Yeah. 
There's no place like Paris, I'll tell you that right now. No place like Paris, trust me. So this is Le Sneakers Gallery, and these are the sneakers that they have in the gallery. I wasn't going to look because I figured we would pretty much have everything um, in America, but let's see. Anyway, they have these Sambas. Or, you know, I'm going for what's less expensive, you know what I mean? And I feel like an Adidas in America would probably be cheaper. They still have the Giacomo's Nikes, which are super cute. I love this color. Should I get these? Uh, let's scan them to see what the price is getting. I'm having a time. And as they say in my city, Atlanta, Georgia, I'm having my way. <laughs> Okay, so in the Galleries Lafayette, there are multiple boutiques of each house. So here's another Celine boutique. In addition to the one that I already saw, there's another Bottega. There's another Balenciaga. There's another Loewe Bay. Look at these dope ass puzzle bags. And I'm not even a big puzzle bag girl, but that two tone right there, she crazy. And then there's a whole nother Saint Laurent boutique. Like, can you imagine how big this place is? So what I was saying is, can you imagine how big this place is if they have multiple boutiques of the same store inside of the freaking mall? Like, and I gotta go back upstairs since I got a team. So, after all this shopping, I definitely wanted something, something to eat. So let's see what this menu is giving at Cafe Opera. So I'm about to go into Uniqlo. I've never been here before, so. Still looking for a couple of things to bring back for the for the people, for the fam. So here is the Garnier, Charles Garnier Opera House. Or Palace Palais Garnier. Do you see that big beautiful gold? Whatever that is. This is a sight to behold, that is for sure. Oh man, I wanna stay here. Turn right onto Rue Auburn. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to find a pizza place. <laughs> so I saw this restaurant uh, sitting over here in the ninth in the um, Le Opera. <laughs> I'll run, well, the Opera neighborhood. So I'm gonna try it out. See what's happening. Uh, having a quick raspberry spritz at the place, the Hippo place that I showed you guys just a few minutes ago. Let's try it out and see what it's giving. So I'm gonna try this raspberry spritz. See what it's giving. I thought, I know I just had one sip. However, I thought that the raspberry spritz at Grand Lux Cafe in Chicago was the best spritz I ever had. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you our first sip that I think this one might rival that one. <laughs> Let's sip some more. So I just ordered their snack appetizer. It has chicken wings, calamari, and onion rings. Very interesting. And there's no sauce. I'm like, where the ranch at? <laughs> where the marinara? I am now having a burger <laughs> with some bacon that don't look that done, but uh, you know the vibes. <laughs> and hopefully I can get some mayo on the side. But this spritz, banging. I think I'm gonna have another one. <laughs> Train station with the vibes. <laughs> this looks like the Chicago airport better, actually. Mm -hmm. 
Wish me luck. Um, ooh, wish me luck and wish me lip chat. <laughs> I'm about to try to take the train back to the hotel. I didn't, I don't think I needed help this time, but we're gonna see. I definitely need help to get over here, so. Fingers crossed, girl, toes and legs too. Update, I made it out. Back in, uh, what I'm saying is our neighborhood. The 15th. I just put up in the fan pre which is like the supermarket coming to get my aunt a seven up and i'm like what is this right here this is a seven up i'm like it looks interesting it's called a mo it's a mojito oh it has mint in it you know what this might be <laughs> what she needs but i'm gonna go with what we know oh and then there's another one seven up free oh this must have no cap no sugar or something like that let's go with the standard what I think is the same what I think is the stand and the standard anyway but this is a cute little market I think that's what they call them little grocery store uh let's see what else they have that is unique here's the produce a mushroom look how big those mushrooms are I wish I could bring some mushrooms back I love mushrooms here's all their fresh produce I just love to see stuff like this in other countries. Not that I see stuff like, not that I go to other countries often, but I do enjoy to see like what the regular people, what the um, non-tourist people got going on. Yeah, so just hanging out here in the 15th, Arandis Mont, like a proper French girl, like a proper madame. Uh, this is the last night and we have to leave super early in the morning, so I figured I'd take a stroll, go to the market, do all the proper French things before we depart. <sighs> I just know the city is amazing and I could not be happier. So there's the vendor set up across the street, along the street that is, and this guy looks like he has some pastries, all oh, pretzels. Homemade pretzels. There's some beignets, some chocolate cookies. They, I'm sure all the stuff is really delicious, but it's kind of out in the in the elements. But surprisingly, I haven't really seen any like uh, bugs. I haven't seen maybe because it's a little chilly out here too. But I haven't seen any bugs, so maybe it shouldn't be a concern. But oh, parlez vous. These are cute. Macarons everywhere. <laughs> so, I have been craving pizza for days. I'm hoping this little pizzeria over here can get me right. <laughs> Wish me la. What is this? This is, I wonder what kind of food this is. Hmm, let's see. If this is Chinese food, I'm about to, oh my God, I've been craving this too, y'all. I don't know what I want. Chinese food, Paris style. So now I'm about to sit out here. <laughs> across the street from our hotel and eat this Chinese food that I just paid down there 20 euro for. So I'm really hoping that it's delicious. And, oops. That's the train, y'all. And the police. But anyway, I also am going to enjoy my Prosecco Rosé. <laughs> I'm gonna cut back and show you. So this is the Prosecco Rosé I just bought from the market. So I, they don't have alcohol they don't have any wine or anything i just want to say once again if i haven't already said it that paris owes me absolutely nothing you guys like i'm literally sitting on the patio i mean on the back what patio of a random chinese restaurant drinking a glass of prosecco rose that i bought from the market up the street enjoying <laughs> this chinese food at like almost 10 o'clock at night bonsoir 
night in Paris and I am catching the last light up of the tower from my window of course. Last night cab, drinking a little bit of rosé as you know that is one of my drinks of choice but like I said earlier today you guys this city is beautiful. Don't let nobody tell you any different. I'm gonna give y'all a full recap of course but um, I mean look at this. Can you imagine? <laughs> so freaking beautiful i feel so blessed so happy it was everything i imagined and then more and uh, if it's on your bucket list or on your list in general i highly recommend it make it happen it's so worth it look at this <laughs> that is amazing I mean, whose airport hitting harder than this airport? I'm just, I'm just saying right now, whose airport is hitting harder than Charles de Gaulle? I'll wait. They got a whole Louis Vuitton store, Dior store. The Gucci store is open at 5 a.m. We live in Rome. They have an entire Chanel boutique, y'all. They have an entire Celine boutique. They have an entire, you know, I'm, look at all this. This don't make no, they got a product. Y'all, this is crazy. This is nuts. They probably, that's a good question. Unless they got one by the gate. Gucci. Oh, so we're back on the road, headed to Istanbul, and then we're headed to Atlanta. That fast. And I look like I got a black eye. Because I about to. <laughs> so, I'm thinking that I'm about to watch the Mario movie for the third time y'all this is this is such a cute movie i love it so much i watched it on both flights coming here but uh the pickings are quite slim this is something they didn't have the other day we'll figure it out back on the road with the Turks. I'm so tired of pulling this thing out, y'all. Cause you be scared you're gonna keep pulling it out and leaving this at some point, but uh, we're back on the road, 10 hours to the A. So we are finally back on US soil in my city. And I am happy, y'all. Uh, oh, my legs are so swollen from <laughs> not wearing my compression tights, that is, but we're home, finally. We made it back. And even though it looks like I got a black eye, I had an amazing time. Woo. But I'm good on looking at Hartsfield Jackson for at least another couple of months. It is absurd. We're back, guys. I'm so happy to be back in my city. Man, the airport is on straight still. feels about you? She's going. Y'all, I just touched down and I had to have a slice of pizza. <laughs> so here I am at Fellini's. Like literally just got in town and I had to have it. Hey, 
Hey, you guys. So I just wanted to come in and kind of do like a end the vlog off properly. I didn't want the vlog to be ended off. To, I didn't want to end it off with me and Fellini's getting pizza, <laughs> being the greedy girl that I am as soon as I came back to America. And by the way, that pizza was not good. It was very, um, it was not pleasing to the appetite. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here to end off this, the, we're in, we're here to conclude the Paris vlog. So of course we did a part, a part one as well as a part two. I just want to say you guys, um, I know if you watch both parts of the vlog and not only that, if y'all have watched my channel probably for the past year, then you know that I was so excited about this trip. I probably talked to y'all's face and ears and mouth and eyes off <laughs> talking about this trip. I was just so excited and honestly it lived up to my excitement it lived up to the actually it lived it, it was above my expectation um of course as of late and honestly for the most part france is always paris in particular has kind of had a bad reputation for people not being as nice and um and it being like kind of smelly and having graffiti and just kind of being not the place that we kind of that i always dreamed that it would be um, so I still, I didn't give up on Paris. I still wanted to go. Of course, my aunt wanted to go. Like she said in the video, she'd been wanting to go since she was in seventh grade. I think she took French in seventh grade. So I think that's kind of where her love for France initiated. But even beyond like all the bad press that they've gotten on TikTok and on various platforms, I still wanted to go. I wanted to see it for myself and y'all. Take it from me when I tell you Paris is not overrated. It is not, I mean, and I know everybody obviously is entitled to their own opinion, but coming from my point of view from, and I didn't even see half the stuff that I wanted to see. We didn't go to the Louvre. Um, we didn't go to like the, um, the quote unquote more ethnic neighborhood where they had like flea markets and um, that sort of thing. There was a couple of things that we had kind of like, on. we didn't get to go to Pink Mama. I couldn't get reservations etc but beyond the fact that i still have things to do i still there were still things that i wanted to do that was on my wish list what i did experience literally from the time i got in the country to the time i left the country was far beyond my expectation i was so pleased with not only the first of all the people were so nice like i'm like are these the same people did they just transplant these people in before i got here you know what i'm saying <laughs> Um, because people always say, oh my God, they're so rude in France and they're so impatient and they're, that is not my experience. And my aunt said the same exact thing. The people were so freaking nice. Not only the people like in the high end stores, but just random people on the street, random people in the subway, random people in the neighborhood. We said in the 15th arrondissement, which is a little bit out of, it's not in the, like the literal city center, but it's still in the city of France, but it's kind of like a neighborhood-ish type situation. And I'm going to do a more thorough review and kind of give you guys some tips and all of that thing. But just overall, just know for me, we had an amazing time. The people were so nice. People went out of their way to help us because obviously there was a language barrier. If they could speak English and the person maybe we were communicating with couldn't, they went out their way to kind of inter, um, to intercede so they can help us with the language barrier. Um, the service in France, like the service at restaurants, at luxury stores, at the regular grocery stores, service beyond, like beyond my expectation. Um, honestly, it made me kind of come back to America. Like just, I'm already a polite person. I'm a please and thank you type girl, but I came in like smiling at everybody. <laughs> they rubbed off on me from like a, um, from like a politeness standpoint in a major way. And like I said, I'm already a polite person, but just kind of being in America and just kind of going through like the rat race of just daily life. You kind of, you don't pay attention to kind of the small details or sometimes I don't, but I kind of came back like, super geeked up to just say hi to people <laughs> it was so it was it was very strange um but in a good way of course but ultimately y'all we had a time a time was had we were exhausted and y'all know i'm a cardio addict so i can walk all day long i walked like damn near 20 miles on the streets of chicago when i was there a few months ago y'all we was so tired but we were so our sensory, our senses were so overloaded. We didn't want to stop. Like we literally left out Saturday morning, which is kind of our, our first full day. We left out at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m. We got back like close to 10 o'clock at night, y'all. Like we was out walking the streets of Paris. We took one Uber that day. 
We took one Uber, which was to Goyard, because you know, that was kind of like the first thing on my to-do list. Because uh, of course the line that y'all saw, the line was crazy and we got there close to opening, but uh, but the line was crazy. But that was like, a, a, I knew that that was gonna be the line that we had to wait in. Um, so we had to get there immediately. So we only took the Uber from our hotel to Goyard. After that, y'all, we walked the city. <laughs> like we walked the Champs-Élysées, we walked, like I said, I'm gonna do a more thorough, like deeper in um, kind of deeper review on Paris and just kind of my overall experience. I'll provide like some traveling tips, um, some 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 packing tips, etc. Whatever, any if you have any suggestions, because a lot of y'all have been telling me in the comments that you're planning trips to go to Europe next year, specifically that you're going to Paris and. I'm super glad that now I can, through my experience, not only going to Paris, but also traveling through like a European airline, Turkish airlines, I can give you guys my experience and my tips on how to get the best deals and what places that are kind of like must have, must goes. And of course it was like my first trip, but I got broken in pretty, pretty nicely. And y'all, I was always obsessed with Paris, but I, now that I have experienced it for firsthand, I need to, I'm, I'm there, I, I have to go to Paris annually. Like, I'm already planning another trip, not necessarily fully planning another trip, but I've been looking at flight. I've been looking at flights, and March is looking like a good time to go, girl. <laughs> so, I'm definitely, y'all are going to be seeing me in Paris more often. I got a couple of connects over there. Yeah, so I did meet a couple of really nice people over there. So, I got me a couple of French connects. So, I will definitely have a couple of local plugs next time I go over there. So I'm super excited about that. But y'all, I could talk to, talk y'all's ear off a lot, but just know there's more content coming from this um, from, from this trip. Of course, I already dropped these two vlogs. So in addition to that, of course, I will be dropping the What I Bought in Paris video. I think that's gonna be coming up this Thursday. Um, and then from there, of course, if y'all have any, um, I'll, and then from there, I'll kind of do an overall review and some tips or whatever. I'll do a video on that. So you guys should be getting that here very soon with the, before the end of October, of course. But those are kind of, so this one trip has created so much content, but that wasn't obviously the goal. The goal was to experience France and to go to France and to kind of get that off the bucket list. But instead of it being kind of like my dream, my dream trip, if you will, this is now going to be a part of my annual travel itinerary. Um, if I, if, if it's the Lord's will, as my, as my auntie likes to say, if it's the Lord's will, and of course, if it's not in his will, then I don't want it to be done. But I definitely plan on going to Paris at least annually, even if it's just a couple of days like we did before. Um, I'm just obsessed, y'all. Like, literally, I've been back for like a week and I'm still like on this Parisian high. <laughs> like, I'm just, it's just really bizarre. I'm just so happy. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful. I'm so blessed that I was able to go. And not only was I able to go, for the experience to be greater than what I imagined, that was very, that was very happy about that too. And then of course, more importantly, just the fact that I was able to go with my aunt, who is like my fashion icon, the person who taught me pretty her in addition to like my grandmother um and my mother and just my aunts overall but she's like the one that's this most serious as it pertains to fashion um so i just like she's the one who i saw with the with the 700 page vogues when i was little and um just just always has been that girl so just to go with her in particular that just kind of put the cherry on top, of course. And then she's, like she said to y'all, she'd been wanting to go her whole life. So that was dope. Um, she had an absolute ball. And also, she she's the star of this vlog now. <laughs> she, of course, has read y'all's comments, or I told her about y'all's comments. And she just wants to say thank y'all so much. She's so humbled um, by your kind words. And um, she's just she just wanted to say thanks, y'all, and that y'all are so sweet. And um, y'all are her nieces at this point as well. So I guess I'll be seeing y'all at Thanksgiving in Indiana. So pull up. We'll have plenty of sweet potato pie to go around. But anyway, like I said, I can go on and on and on. I'm not going to continue to talk y'all's ear off. But the, you know, the more videos will be coming. I can't wait to drop the what I bought in Paris. It's not crazy. It's no, I didn't get a Birkin. I didn't get a bag off or anything like that. But I definitely had a wish list of like eight items and I was able to secure four. 
of those eight. And then of course some miscellaneous items as well that I wanna share with y'all. And I wanna tell y'all about like my savings as it pertains to the VAT and just all of that stuff. So y'all could just be very knowledgeable because a lot of y'all are planning on going to uh, Europe soon as well. So with all that being said, so if you made it to the end of the vlog, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for going to Paris with me. I hope you enjoyed um, the footage. And of course, like I, like I said, lots of videos to come. Um, please don't forget to, of course, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in Dawes in the next video.